Recording. All right, class. All eyes on me. Good job. All right. What I'm passing out is the guided notes for this lesson. Do not turn them over until uh, I say do so. There you go. All right, on the board is the do now. You can turn over uh, the guided notes. At the top of your guided notes, uh, you will be responding to this question in the first box. Can somebody please read the question to me? Colin? Do now, what, if anything, are humans born knowing? Explain. Does everybody understand the question? All right. To get started, we'll have three minutes to write down uh, your response. Yeah, one minute left. Chris is getting a lot of writing down. That's his column. Crop up your thoughts in 10 seconds, please. Five, four, three, two, one. Now what I'd like you to do is in the group of three, share your thoughts about what you just uh, wrote down or your response to the question. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I thought we were talking amongst ourselves. I would say that humans are not born knowing anything, but that there are certain instincts and impulses we have that lead us to experience, which then leads to knowledge. And I wrote something sort of similar. Like we're both born knowing our bodily needs, but not how to service them. We're able to communicate them, but not articulate them, just by crying. So we are born with some sort of social knowledge how to serve our bodily needs? I'm actually on the same line with you guys. Um, I said that um, we are born with probably our reflexes, I would assume, and that provides us with a cognitive framework for future learning. But like the short answer to this is, I don't really know what humans are born with. <laughs> <laughs> and and that's, that's very true. A lot of, uh, there's been a lot of research done on what humans know at birth, uh, and there's a lot of assumptions being made. Um, but one thing that, that you all, uh, I guess I pulled from your comments, is the fact that uh, humans are born knowing instincts. Humans are born knowing how to breathe, how to suckle, for our nourishment, things like that. Um, but taking into consideration your responses to the, to the do now, I would like you all to just share your thoughts. I'll give you 15 seconds to think about this question. Um, but Chris, can you read it aloud for us? Sure. What role do you plan on playing in your students' lives with respect to your previous answers? So, taking into consideration that we're rising teachers, what role do you 